a big hello to everybody out there. Um, this is Go Coyle here, and I'm speaking to you from the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. Um, here I'm a professor of uh, language education and classroom pedagogies. And before that, I was in the University of Aberdeen in Scotland and then in Nottingham. Prior to that, however, I was a language teacher who wanted always to find ways of making my language lessons more motivating for, the, uh, for my pupils. Um, my languages were French and Russian, but uh, that really drove me to wanting to explore uh, content and language integrated learning because I felt that there had to be more than the grammar that I was dealing in and the really low level kind of content that was going on in my language lessons, like talking about families and gardens and pets and activities. So that's, the, uh, that's, that's my driver for CLIL. Content and language integrated learning has so many potential benefits um, is because what it's looking at is what happens when um, other languages are used to learn new knowledge. And whilst that's challenging, and to be honest, the fact that people are using CLIL doesn't necessarily mean um, that there will be deeper learning and that it will be successful unless there are certain key principles that are followed. But generally speaking, um, it's a leveler. What do I mean by that? Um, the teacher who is teaching their content or their subject through another language has to make it accessible to all learners. And therefore, the way that it is taught tends to be more accessible. There's more use of digital uh, tools and visual literacies are really, really important. So what that means is that some of the learners who may not be linguistically very able or who might be struggling with uh, the content, the geography, the history, the science, actually have a different experience in terms of accessing the curriculum. It also means that when you're using other languages, it's very motivating and a sense of um, uh, a sense of really uh, challenge, but yet achievement when uh, young people are learning new knowledge uh, through the medium of another language. Whereas traditionally, it's tended to be, we always talked about what we already knew. Uh, this is around actually bringing together uh, the learning of new knowledge and knowledges and skills alongside uh, linguistic, linguistic progression. And that is very, very exciting. Um, it also uh, is a way of rethinking some of the things that we've done traditionally because CLIL teaching isn't exactly the same as good subject teaching or good language teaching. You have to bring the two together and find out uh, and share with uh, colleagues the ways of making that learning accessible, the ways of making meaning making accessible. And so therefore, it looks very much at learner strategies, different kinds of literacies, and there are all kinds of opportunities that this will present in terms of looking at the subject from a slightly different perspective. So in other words, from a more intercultural perspective um, than might have been if, uh, if that subject had been taught through the medium of the first language. <laughs> 